Hey everyone, Jason Shabbard here of M0A.com with my friend Brian from Apario. You guys have known Apario for some time. We have the ESG, we're moving it into the Cessna 150 now. We're flying with the Stratus. We have Stratus Power and 2.3 Mike Zulu. So we have Apario across the entire fleet. Brian, you have some cool new things coming out. Kind of run us by and talk to us more about ADSB. Is, is 2020 really happening and what is Apario doing to make all that happen? Sure, thanks Jason. Yeah, before we get into anything product-wise, let's get it right off the table. The FAA ADSB mandate is coming up. It's January yes. 1st, 2020. Yes. Uh, they're not going to move it back. We've been talking about this for a while. Folks need to know it's coming up. It's not moving. It, the FAA's at Oshkosh. They're at all the major aviation events telling the pilot community the exact same thing. So, it's coming. Yeah, people need to make a decision. You need to do something for ADSB out for the mandate. Yes. And yes. That's important to note that with the ADSB mandate, there's ADSB in, which are all the cool pilot information services we get up in the airplane, and there's ADSB out. That is a new box you need to put in your airplane. Yes. And that is all the FA mandate is about, and that is getting a new ADSB out transponder solution in your airplane. Right. That's all the mandate is about. Yes, and they're understanding that's out, not in. So yes, Correct. Stratus 3 is amazing, but they need to meet that mandate. We need the out. That's true. And Really, there are some really great solutions in the market. Apario, we have some really nice, low-cost, long-term solutions. But there's a whole host of other companies providing great solutions now. So really, it's a perfect time to make a decision. What you see on the market now is probably what you're going to get. We're in that final home stretch, so sure. people need to make a decision, whether it's our Stratus ESG family of products or something else that's actually already out there. Yes, absolutely. And it's so important to make that decision because, like you said, all these avionic shops are going to get backed up here. I mean, granted, standing here today, it's going to take quite some time for everybody to meet that mandate yeah. and be legal with it. And you're right, Jason. And when you're looking out there for an ADSB out solution, when you're shopping at Oshkosh, you're talking to your local avionic shop, yes. it's really important to look at the boxes and see what all is included with the price. You know, do you need a GPS antenna? Does it have WAS GPS built into it? Yes. Because something a lot of pilots don't understand is with the ADSB mandate, you need to have a WASP position source built into your transponder or feeding it. Yes. And those solutions can be pretty expensive. Sure, absolutely. Uh, on ours, we keep it really easy. We have a version that has GPS built into it for $3,000 and another version for $2,500 that doesn't have GPS built into it. Interesting. So we try to keep it really cut and dry to make it easy for the pilot to understand what they need, not have any hidden gotchas on it. Very cool. Again, 2020 is coming and it's time to make a decision when it comes to ADSB. So do check out Brian and the great team here at Apario, their ESG and really their Stratus suite of products. Enjoy the rest of your day and most importantly, remember, a good pilot is always learning. Have a great day, guys. We'll see ya. I wrote the private pilot blueprint with the intention of, if I could do my flight training over, what I wish someone would have told me. And I want that book to be yours for free. All I ask is that you pay shipping. Visit privatepilotblueprint.com to get your free copy.